This is Li Zheng, licensed acupuncturist and herbalist. Today, I'd like to talk about a very common problem uh, modern people have. It's called benign positional vertigo. What is the vertigo? Vertigo means when your body or your head don't move, but you feel the sensation of movement or you feel imbalance or the things around you start spinning. So when you have vertigo, the common symptoms are dizziness, nausea, vomiting, loss of balance, fatigue, abnormal rhythmic eye movement, or even blurred vision. And all of this related with dysfunction of your inner ear. Inner ear has a vestibular labyrinth which includes semicircular canals and those canals contain fluids and hair-like sensor so those hair-like nerves sense the rotation of your head there's a, an, another organ which sends the linear movement of the head it's called otolith organ so when your head is moving, this organ can sense the position of the head relative to gravity. In this little organ, there are crystals, and sometimes the crystals become dislodged, and then it's floating around in the semicircular canals. That make the nerves more sensitive to have a positional changes. So when you change position from lying down to sitting up, you feel dizziness, things moving around you. That's because the nerves are too sensitive. What caused this dysfunctional of this inner ear, including vestibular labyrinth and the little organs which has crystals? Viral infection can cause nerve inflammation, inner ear surgery, too much aspirin, phenytoin, or alcohol can influence the nerve sensitivity. And a general inflammation also can sensitize your nerves. And if you already have very sensitive inner ear vestibular labyrinth, then those inflammation can make those nerves firing even more frequently. The other common reason causing this dysfunction of inner ear is exposure to severe cold for too long and dehydration. Dehydration causes your body produce abnormal higher level of histamine which also causing those nerve inflammation and also, prolonged lying on back um, one position can also cause uh, this benign position of vertigo. Bell's palsy is another thing cause the nerve inflammation. So when we treat this vertigo, we need to also adjust the diet. Anything cause nerve inflammation, we need to restrict that. For instance, you need to reduce the salt intake because the salt can cause inflammation and the swelling of the inner ear, too much salt. And also allergies, if you have seasonal allergies, then the vertigo can be worse because the higher level of histamine caused by allergies can also cause swelling of the nerves in the vestibular labyrinth. Also, um, we can use a physical therapy treatment called Brent and Darov exercise. And this exercise requires patients sitting on the bed and then tilt their head 45 degrees to one direction, left or right, and then quickly lie down to that side and hold for 30 seconds, 
then you repetitively do this motion so that you kind of desensitize the nerves until you don't feel dizzy anymore. For me, the past couple of years, most people already done those exercises and their vertigo is a little bit better, but it's not completely gone. So they tried medications and then they tried this brand and dark roof exercises, but the final solution is to come to acupuncture. And acupuncture can desensitize the nerves distributed in the inner ear. So it will reduce the firing rate, the abnormal firing of those nerves. Also, by speeding up the circulation of the inner ear, we reduce the swelling of hair cells in the vestibular labyrinth and reduce the inflammation. The other benefits of acupuncture is it can instantly relax the neck muscle. So we can bring more energy to ear, to the head, to retina. So we improve the circulation instantly. That means the swelling will go down if you improve the circulation. The fourth benefit acupuncture can help is to improve adrenal gland function, which improve the level of cortisone. So cortisone is a universal anti-inflammatory hormones, which help reduce the inflammation in any parts of the body. So the, if any medication, no medication can help, then usually before the surgery, the doctors will use cortisone. But what if we use acupuncture to improve the adrenal gland function of the body and optimize the stress hormone cortisol by your own body, you won't have any side effect of taking the external cortisol. Acupuncture also balances the parasympathetic nerve and the sympathetic nervous system reduce the stress spontaneously. That way you won't crave those salty sweets which lead to inflammation. So if you try the medication, you try the breath and dark exercises, and you change your diet and you still cannot get rid of this vertigo, then come to acupuncture treatment.